Hey, it's Phil from Euroheat, and a really good question is, why would I invest more in a hydronic floor heating system when we can just put in a simple, cheap electric floor heating system? Now on the outside, they might seem like they do the same thing. But when you look at them in detail, they're actually very different. And each one of them has its own pros and cons. So if we think about an electric floor heating system, Yes, it is true, it can cost up to 50% less to install an electric floor heating system than a hydronic floor heating system. And it's quite easy to install. You just lay some cables on top of a slab and then you put the floor finish on top and you run some electricity through it and there you go, it's heating. But think about it this way, it's sort of like getting a really cheap petrol car. So the really cheap petrol car, it doesn't cost much to buy, but then the running costs start adding up. And so if you think about an electric floor heating system, the maximum efficiency is 99%. And what that means is for every one kilowatt of electricity you put in, the maximum heat you can get out is 0.99 kilowatts. So you're actually getting less heat out than you, of the energy you put in. And so this means it can cost you two or even up to five times more per hour to run. So it's sort of like having a cheap car where you didn't pay much for it, but then it's costing you, you know, $50 every few days to fill up the fuel tank. And so one of the great things about electric floor heating is that it is so simple and basic. It just has those cables like we talked about before and you just switch it on and off. But that can be also one of its detractors because it heats up to quite a high temperature, say 90 degrees, and then it switches off so it doesn't overheat. And it just keeps doing this, switching on and off, on and off. And this means that you can sort of feel that in the, in the building and it, it's, it's not a very steady and gradual heat. Now, because of the qualities of electric floor heating, it is fantastic for heating just small areas by themselves. If I was going to heat just a small bathroom in my house and not, not the whole house, but just a small bathroom, electric, definitely the way to go. You only use it for a really short period of time. It heats up pretty quickly and the installation cost isn't going to be very big just for that small area. So it definitely does have its own application. Now with hydronic systems, you're going to invest probably double. And that's because you're investing in a more sophisticated system that is going to work for you in the long run. So for example, if you use a heat pump to provide the heat for your floor heating system, you don't actually pay for all of the energy you generate. How, how does this work? Well, the heat pump, it doesn't actually uh, generate the heat from the electricity. What it does is it uses that electricity to suck air either from, suck heat rather, either from the air or from the ground. And so it has a much higher efficiency than the electric floor heating system. And so we're talking about say 300% efficiency for an air to water heat pump and even up to 500% efficiency for a uh, ground source heat pump. And this is comparable to say driving instead of a, an old petrol gas guzzling car to having a Toyota Prius, which it doesn't really cost you that much to run, but you had to invest a little bit more when you bought the car in the first place. So with the heat pump, we actually use a much lower temperature to heat the floor compared to electrical floor heating. So with electrical, we are talking about around 90 degrees. With the heat pump, we're using around 40 degree water. And this means that we have a much more gentle and even and consistent heat throughout the whole house. And because we use this low heat, it means that we use less energy to generate this heat. It's sort of like, imagine boiling some water. If you want to boil it to 100 degrees, it uses more energy than if you want to heat it up to 40 degrees. So one of my favorite things about hydronic systems is actually that you can make them into not only a Toyota Prius, but into a Tesla. So you can use your hydronic system to cool your house as well. And when we say cool, you can cool the floors, yes, but you can also combine it with your air conditioning. So you have a, the, the, the normal comfort that you're always used to, but then you can also use it to heat your pool. You can use it to heat up your hot water for your taps. You can use it to cool down your cellar. And all of this from one integrated system that is super efficient. So to recap, the main difference between electric and a hydronic floor heating is that if you have a dollar coin and you put it into the electric floor heating machine, you'll get a little bit less than that dollar out worth of heat. But if we put that same dollar coin into the hydronic heating machine, 
we will then get about $3 out at least. So you can see where it makes a massive difference in the efficiency and the running cost. So if you want help determining whether an electric or a hydronic system is most suitable for your house, give us a call. We can have a quick 15 minute chat. We can talk about what's best for you with your budget and what your expectations are. And if you did want a hydronic system, we'd be more than happy to help you out to make sure that it's an energy efficient and really comfortable system for your building. Mm -hmm.